Hello, we are at uh, School of ICT's uh, Information Security uh, Poster Seminar. So over here we are taking a look at uh, one of the research papers on reverse engineering and exploitation using filtering. So over here today we have uh, Hong Chai with me. Hello. So he will share with us uh, how he actually reverse engineer filtering and uh, allow us to get more points on filtering. Okay, okay Chai, so the first step uh, we do is we set up a man in the middle to get the token for the device. Okay. So we use Charles, the web debugging application, to get the token. So at this, in this picture, we can see all the traffics done by the device itself on the computer. Okay. Okay, so first, uh, what is this about? This is uh, to set up the certification for the iPhone so as to see all the HTTPS connection. Okay, so firstly, it has to install this on the iPhone for you to get the... What is that? Get what? To strip off the SSL. Thing. Okay, to strip off the SSL and then over here is where you grab all the packets and uh, see what yeah, is uh, your Futix ID. Which yeah, correct. The H so, so the ID, the token itself is actually identifies what identify you as a Futix user. Yeah. Okay, so what's next then? Next is uh, the exploitation of the Minox for Futix. Okay, so can we do take a look at uh, some of the demos that you have over here? Yeah, so I'll show you the monitoring process. Okay, monitoring process. Okay, so I will start recording. Okay. By clicking this. So and this is what what what's all this the child uh, yeah, for you to actually get. So if I okay. Okay. So <laughs> so what what do we have on the phone here? If I do a refresh. Okay, refresh. You will have all the different protocols sent over to the server. Yes, correct. So what we are interested in is the token itself. Okay, so over here you can see you can actually see all the token ID from here taken down using the Charles software. So over here you can see that his ID is A E six three E D A A A two C four something something something. Oh, you shouldn't say that. Yeah. Okay. So with that, this identifies my account. Okay. So your filter account. Yeah, my filter account. So to do the meetup, right? We yeah. have to. Uh, understand how the whole thing is being done. Okay. So it's done by generating a new QR code, and then the QR code contains some information. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. So now we are copying down the ID, right? Uh, this is the. This is a QR key. Okay. This QR key is this QR image itself. Okay. So it contains this text. Uh. Okay. So what we do is we normally scan this image. Yeah. But instead of scanning, right, we'll do a post request to the server sending okay. this QR key. So I'll show you the codes I've written. Okay. This is the code to do the meetup. Okay, I want to explain a little bit on the code. Okay, so first I set up the payload. Okay. Payload is what to be sent to the server. Okay. I have this offset, which I think is the radius of the person who is... Okay. Yeah. Then I have the longitude and latitude, which I ident uh, declare up here. Your location? Uh? Yeah. Okay. Then these are just some default variables. Okay. Then finally I pass in my token. To okay. Identify is me. It's you. Okay. Yeah. So going down, I will get the QR code first. I will get the QR code. Okay. Yeah, so in order for this to work right, I need two persons QR code. One is the scanner and one is the the person to be scanned. Okay. So I have two tokens. Uh -huh. So the first person will create the QR code and the second person will do the scanning. Okay. Then when I post this uh, request to the server, the meetup will be done. So the main thing is request dot post. So what is request again? Request is just a uh, module uh, for Python to do a post. Okay. Meetup link data payload dot text. Okay. So I show you. All right. 
I'm gonna do the meetup. Generate a QR code. I think you are code. So. Okay, so you can see it's a request of uh, the the response oh, the response from so, so it, the meetup has been done. I got 45 points. You don't click on it, eh? Yeah, I can see the words. Oh, sorry. Very blur. Okay. So, if I show you over here, right? Yon, he, I met 21 seconds ago. Okay. So this works out. Okay, so if I try to meet again, right? He will return a response of uh, met within an hour. within an hour error okay so what can you potentially do with this to like help you to get more more few tick meet up meetups uh, I can write a script that will automate this whole process every hour so I can just meet up anywhere I want yeah. so all you need to do is just to get your own token then yes and other people token then I can okay. just start the script okay okay so do you have any words for Filtic to actually improve their system? Uh, yeah, I think they should really do something about this. Yeah, yeah. okay. I don't know what. Great. So, thank you, Hong Chai. Thank you.